Michael?
hell is this? What is this? Oh no, what did Michael do? Oh, Dr. Ray. I'm, I've come in to inform me that Michael has just escaped. I'm Dr. Ray. Well, apparently Michael broke out last night. We don't know how. He just broke the doors, apparently. He just break down? I told you guys to put him in a maximum security prison. And this would not have happened. I'm not responsible, Sam. Oh no, you couldn't have. If precautions weren't strong enough, you should have told somebody. I told everybody! Nobody listened. Well, Sam, there's not much I can do about this. We cornered off the entire area. Two Roblox and an all points bullet would have stopped a five year old. Sam, Haddonfield is 150 miles away now, for God's sake, he can't drive a car. He was doing very well last night. Maybe somebody around here gave him lessons. to wash up man. I feel dirty. Okay, I'm gonna get in the shower. Sheriff, uh, what happened here? Well, last night a couple of kids broke in here, stole a couple of knives, uh, a mask. Probably kids. Okay, well I need to talk to you. Oh well, uh, I'm kind of busy. Oh, uh, give me ten minutes. I'll be here. I wonder what my friend. Uh, I wonder what he's doing. Hello. Oh, yo, Dylan. How you doing? Nah. I'm alright. I see you alright. Uh, so, why are you calling me? I was calling to ask uh, if you want to come over. It's a pretty boring Halloween night, so... I, I just wanted to ask if you wanted to come over and watch some movies. I'll come round. Okay. I've got nothing to do tonight anyway. I'm not really doing anything for Halloween today. Um, too much right now. Yeah. Okay. Give me like an hour. Alright, alright. Alright, bye. Bye. Hour. I can wait that. Alright. Better get ready. Tidy this place up a bit. It is quite messy, so. Let me tidy this place up a bit. I need a little bit of a clean. My toys from when I was younger, and you know, straight eye. But yeah, I guess I can get it clean. 
What's those sounds? Hello? Who's that? Who's there? Dad? Mum? Who's there? That definitely, that didn't come from upstairs, that definitely came from here. I'm at the top of the block of flats, so... It's not upstairs. So it must have came from this house. There's no one can walk on the ceiling from under, so... Oh my god, that is scary, bro. Nah. Oh, it's nine. It's nine o'clock. I better go to my friend's house. All right, I better get ready. It's getting rainy. Glad it's not trick or treat now. I mean, I'm glad it's not trick or treat now. It's over now. Or they would have been getting wet. Such a coincidence. Storm on Halloween night. John? I hope you don't mind, but I had to use your key, you're not answering, are you alright? Oh my god, John! Oh my god, are you... Is he dead? John, man, I have to call the police. Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh. Who are you? Shit. 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 Shit.
simple scene. Need to call the police. Get the phone a little bit. It's called the police, though. It's important. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's Michael. Man. As a matter of fact, it was.
Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Bum, 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 bum. Give him two lips like roses and clover. Bum, bum, bum. Then tell him that his lonesome nights are over. Sandman, I'm so alone. Bum, 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 bum. Don't have it.
I shot him six times. I, I shot him in the heart. I, can't have gotten very far. Come on. I shot him six times. Yeah. This guy, this man, is, he's not human. looking. We've got to find Michael. Keep on driving. Just up there. You know, doctor, I'm just about there. Where I stopped taking orders from you. Fine, whatever you want. The primary concern is that we reach Michael and we stop him. I think you missed him. You think I'm lying? No man could take six lugs. I told you this isn't a man. Right there! Wait! Stop it! Stop! No, Loomis! Where's my gun? Where's One kid from across the street. It was John. Oh, my God. Restrained. He could still be out there. Need your help, Sheriff. Without your help, I don't know what's gonna happen. We saw him die in that car crash. That was him. I'm not lying. If you are lying that he is still out there, I will personally have you arrested for a lifetime. Where the hell am I? You're in Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. The hospital? You were brought here just about 12 minutes ago. You have a, a stab wound on your arm and a broken ankle. <sighs> Shit, yeah, you stabbed me in my right, you stabbed me in my left arm. You've been trying to get in contact with your parents, but there's been no answer. So try and get as much rest as you like, and don't worry, we're keeping you safe. Halloween is crazy, and I know Halloween is a busy time. That boy ran into Michael Myers, remember? The boy that stabbed his sister 15 years ago in 1963. Crazy. He ran into him and apparently just got stabbed by him, but he's alive. Whoa. Another boy has been I'll go and do my security work, yeah? Oh, I see it. Okay. Cool. Oh, 
Halloween is crazy, man. Hello? Man, he forgot his tablets. I'll give that to him. Jimmy? Oh my god! He's dead. Dr. Loomis, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Excuse me? Send me out of this town. There's a goddamn killer on the loose! The law asks you to leave Haddonfield right at this moment. And you're asking me to get out of this town? Because of some stupid rule? Stupid law? Draw people to be dead tonight? Dr. Loomis, Michael Myers is Dylan Stroll's sibling. Jesus, don't you see what he's doing here in Haddonfield? He's killed one sibling, now he's trying to go for the next. Where's the hospital? That way. Shut up! We're going! Dylan. Don't touch him! He's getting in. Take this. Okay.
Patient transfer and pick up from Smith's Grove, Warren County, Territory. You're late? Yeah, should be on the road. Hell of an eye, huh? I'll take you down there. Watch this for me, alright? Why wasn't I notified? About what? You know damn well about what? You let them take him out of here. 
Spare me the speech. I've listened to it for a decade. The fact is that Mike Myers is a federal prisoner, therefore he's subject to federal law. Look at this! Look at it! I don't want anyone to have to live through that night again. Dr. Hoffman. Yeah, there's been an accident with Michael Myers. I he see. Escaped from an ambulance. Lewis! Lewis! Salvador must leave it alone. You believe that? How many in the bus? Four plus Myers. Oh, God. Even if by some miracle Michael was still conscious, his muscles would be totally useless. Give the troopers a chance to search. We're talking about him as if he was a human being. That part of him died years ago. Now, where are you going? Haddonfield. It's a four hour drive. You can reach me through the local police. If you don't find them in four hours, I'm sure I will. Hey, girl. How about a 916 socket over here? Excuse me, can I speak to Sheriff Brackett? Well, then you'll have to travel about 2,000 miles south of here. What? Brackett retired back in 81. Who's the new sheriff? Sheriff Meeker. Folks round here aren't likely to forget your name. Why are you here? Sheriff, Michael Myers has come back. He's in this town. Michael Myers? That's impossible. He's been in a coma for 10 whole Six years. bodies! That's what I've seen! Between here and Ridgemont, a filling station in flames. I tell you, Michael Myers is here, in this town. Okay, let's shake this out. That's the least we can do. I want you guys to stay here, all right? And make sure this place is fully secure. All stores and bars Everybody are shut to God close damn it. due to the police shut up. Please call the police if you are confused about anything. Call the police. I ain't shutting down without a good goddamn reason. What's going on, Aaron? Not surprising that Ben Me could do something like that. Yeah. Aliens could land on Ben's doorstep while all he do is spit watching himself shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> it just rang. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Let's go. The phone never rings just at a police station. No way, no how! Hello? Hello? No, it's home. Whose house is this? Dear God. Jesus Christ. Evil. Need all officers on the street. 
searching for Dylan Strode. Come in. Come in. I think something happened to the police station. Tell me, how can a man do this, Loomis? As I've told you, evil. Sheriff. This is none of your business. This is police business. It looks to me like you're out of business. Now, what's going on? It was Michael Myers. Let it be Earl, let the police handle this. Like the last time? How many kids back there? Earl here lost his kid ten years back. Not this time. I'm gonna fry his ass. You bastard, you just created a lynch mob. You haven't got a police force! These people may be the only protector you've got. Halloween is just too much for me after what happened 10 years ago. Dylan Stroll, this is Sheriff Mika. Please come into the car. Michael Myers is after you. What? Are you serious? Yes, you are in great danger. Please come into the car right now. He's coming back. Michael Myers is coming back. Did you see him? Okay, alright, okay. Alright. Listen to me, Dr. Loomis. You lock all the doors, make sure no one can get in. Do you know how to use a shotgun? Yeah. Well, I want you to protect this area. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm fine. Well, here you go. Where are you after, Dr. Loomis? This is not a good time. I've got to find him. Can anyone stop him? Maybe nobody knows how to stop him. I've got to try that. Please, if there are any fucking officers alive out there, the National Guard, please uh, uh, reply. Yeah, the National Guard, oh, National right Guard. Here, Listen, Adam Phil is in great danger. Michael Myers in the town. We need your help. Okay? Uh, is it Michael Myers dead? Look, please. We are asking for your help here. He is really here. Shut up and just come down here for goddamn sake. All right, all right, we're coming down. Sheriff, uh, how long now? I've been waiting forever. How long? 
Sheriff. from him. He's, he's running around the corner right now. Well, come on then. My group is back there in the car. Come on.
one-room place, but I need to try and find money, this is getting ridiculous. Anyway, uh, God, just stop remembering, just stop remembering last year, then. just stop. He's in a sanitarium, he's probably dead, he's probably dead. Okay, good. God. my house right now. Just too freaked out. It might not even be him, but...
So every time you get a feeling, I'm supposed to call out the National Guard. Sheriff, you gotta trust me this time. Have you forgotten how many bodies there were last year? Have you forgotten? I haven't forgotten. Look at my hand. It took years for this to heal from that fire. 11 years ago. I had to burn Michael Myers to death. And he still survived that. Sheriff, they want you down at Smith's Grove. There's been a murder. I'll check out his house. That's probably the first place he's been to. Light switch. Michael! This is his old house. Back here again. Michael, are you here? He's been here though. Dr. Loomis? Why are you here? Dylan. Look. I believe that you are in danger. I believe I'm in danger? Why? Michael Myers. Please come with me. I know this is very bad news, but I need you to come with me. Just don't say a word.
All right, Dylan, here's the plan. So, when Michael Myers sees that you're not in your house, he'll probably guess that I sent you here. Now, Sheriff is on the walkie-talkie, and when Michael Myers comes into the house, that's, you're just going to hide in this corner here, because I'm going to say, come and get your brother, Michael, but I'm going to lure him into it. You won't actually get you. There's a guitar here, and I'm going to kill him. I'm just going to hit him with it until he dies, okay? All right. Okay, that sounds, that sounds right. Cool. What's the news, Sheriff? No, Dr. Loomis, he ain't here yet. Not yet. We'll just wait a bit, all right? And, yeah, just wait there, and he'll come. All right, okay. We'll wait. We're waiting. Dr. Normus, I think he's entered the house. Wait. Michael! <laughs> Michael, no. This is for 11 years of pain and agony. <laughs> It's not done yet. Run, Dylan, run! Come and get your brother, Michael. Come and get your brother! This is where he will stay till the day he dies. Keep him locked up, okay? He could do anything. That's a promise, Sheriff. Dylan, do you want to go home or do you want to be, you want to be taken? Do you feel safe to go home? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel alright, Dylan. You sure? Okay. Well, good luck in the future, all right? I'm sorry this had to happen. Okay. All right, see ya. All right. Let's continue.
up to me, Dylan Strong. Michael, time has come for you to kill. Kill Dylan Strode. Thorn has appeared again. Now kill Michael. Kill. Where am I? Did I slip into a coma? Last thing I remember... Wait, what, what was going on? Got hit on the head. When was that? Where am I? What year is it? It's Back Talk with Barry Sims. We're in the second hour of a special Halloween edition of Back Talk, and I'm Barry Sims. Tomorrow night we'll be coming to you from Paddington, the town that has banned Halloween since 1989. When the infamous killer Michael Myers and his brother Dylan Strode mysteriously disappeared. Also, about a dozen cops were killed in an explosion. We have, an, we have a caller next who's, who's next to talk to me. Well, Myers was not killed in an explosion. They covered up their tracks and sent Michael Myers to space. Oh, come on. That's it. You don't want to hear the facts, man. Uh, meh. Michael Myers in space. Come on. Next. Hey, Barry. Whatever happens to that old man, Dr. Loomis? I heard the old man was dead. Haha. <laughs> Not dead. Just very much retired. Yeah, you're gonna get upstage or old bar. You have reached Haddonfield phone service. Due to yeah, severe weather conditions, you, right? you are not able to Next make this call. At 1-800, you suck. Call me. Come on. Good God! Ray, come in! He was so much as a sign for five miles on that road. <laughs> That's the beauty of the countryside. I thrive on it. Uh, you look good, Sam. Yes, uh, surgery. They helped me through my stroke. Why are you listening to that joke? Oh, it's Halloween. Halloween shot. I'm taping it. To old friends. To new beginnings. Old friends. <clears throat> Sam, I want you to come back to Smith's Grove. You should know that it's not wise. Halloween pranks. <laughs> it's no prank. You're the one I've chosen, Sam. I want you to come back. I've buried a ghost of burden in this manuscript. I don't practice medicine anymore. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Your name is Joan, Joan of Arc. And you're also hearing voices, right? Now who's coming? It's Michael. Michael Myers. Can someone help me? Anybody? Dr. Loomis, are you out there? Anybody? Stop, stop. What the hell is going on? Every loony in the state is calling. What is this, a full moon? Guess Haddonfield brings out all the crazy people. Tell them I'm mad. I'm gonna rip the lid off of this mind's crap.
They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Your name is Joan, Joan of Arc. And you're also hearing voices, right? Now who's coming? It's Michael. Michael Mai. Bus 34 arriving in 10 minutes from Gardner. And bus 31 to Boston arriving in 2 minutes. Up the hill? Bus 29 to Chicago in 3 minutes departure. Bus 27 to Wisconsin leaving in. Right. Well, do you know what happened to Dylan? Bus 31. Back to Loomis? Yeah. It's me. And bus 4 to I don't know you. Alright, you don't know me. I am uh, I'm Dylan Strokes. You know, the family that adopted Dylan Strokes because he was originally Dylan Myers. The Strokes. The Strokes! I'm Johnny Strode. I was a. I was. I'm one of the Strokes. What are you doing here? Well, did you, heard, you heard him last night, didn't you? Michael's come home, hasn't he? He was the last of his bloodline. Yeah. Apparently died right here. But do you know anything? Is he is he actually coming back? Was it him? I don't know, but Oh god, I don't have time. I gotta get to school. Look, meet me tonight at the campus rally. Wait, Johnny! Wait! So the book ends. But what Robert is really saying here is that evil never dies. That's what Robert is saying here. So he says evil never dies. And that it has a force that can't be stopped. It's powered by a force that can be stopped. Johnny. What did he say about you? Oh, uh, uh, he said that evil can be stopped and, uh, it is powered is right. by, uh, good work. A force. Alright, Dad. Uh, I just got back. I was outside, but I just want to go celebrate Halloween tonight. You know, there's a festival at the campus rally, so, uh, I'm gonna meet someone there, and I just wanna, I just wanna celebrate Halloween in general. Alright, I'll see you. A long, long time ago, it was a time of great power, but the days grew short and the people celebrated the festival of Samhain. They lit bonfires to ward off evil, especially the boogeyman. Oh, I, I gotta go. He hears the voice, you know, the voice that talked to him 32 years ago. He told him to kill his family. Okay, well, it's getting late, I gotta go. See you there. Wow. They got this place built up this year. Every year it's been getting better. It has definitely been getting better. Cool. They've got some. It's a festival. Rocky, man. I'm glad they definitely brought up. I'm glad they brought back Halloween to this town. It's weird my dad just spurted out that whole story about Halloween. Like, out of nowhere. I think he's a bit scared of Michael Mine himself. I'm a bit I'm a bit scared of him coming back. I mean, what if he comes back? That would suck. Johnny! happening. Come to my house, we'll decide there, okay? Okay, we'll decide from there. Who are you? Five miles on that road. I'm 
conductor, right? Dizzy man, what the fuck's going on? We've been tranquilized, haven't we? <sighs> We've been tranquilized, yes. Where are we? We're in Adamville bus station. Oh shit, man, we're in Haddonfield bus station. How are we gonna, how, what are we gonna do? My house is four miles away from here. It's his game. And I know where he wants to play it. Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. Dr. Loomis, they can't stop Michael. Nothing will stop Michael. But, Ray. I wanna tell you something. I think Michael's under the power of an evil room. Thorn. But the evidence of light. If these light rays of light could somehow cancel out Michael's evil, it could stop him. Stay here. Don't go anywhere until I come back. Ray. Ah, I was getting worried, Sam. I was afraid you weren't going to make it. Why? Because you were the first one to see it. Recognize his power. Pure, uncorrupted, ancient. We are at the dawn of a new age, Sam. And I'm asking you to join me. You are a madman. I've had my failures. But with Michael killing his last bloodline, we can pass on the curse. I thought Michael was a monster, but... Oh. Ready for you, Dr. Ray. We'll give Dr. Loomis a little time to think about it. And then, he'll realize his fate. Now that I have revealed myself as the overwatcher for Michael, it is time you pass on the curse, Michael. Who would it be? Who will get the curse, Michael? You do anything, and I will fucking stab you. Go on. Stop it. Move, come on. Dr. Loomis, it worked. The power of the room stopped him. Good. What are you gonna do now? I have a little business to attend to. Michael, what have they done to you? your game now, Dr. Loomis.
I was saved in here.